Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain the universal law of gravitation. We can also call it Newton's law of gravitation. Why? Because it was discovered by Isaac Newton. So what is it about? If we have, for example, two objects, object A with a mass m sub a and object B with a mass m sub b. Normally they are going to interact with each other with a force called force of gravity. And this force, according to Newton, is equal to the product of their masses, which means ma times mb over the distance r squared. This distance is between the center of their masses, okay? But we have to add something very important, which is capital G to make it an equation okay this capital G is a constant is a constant it, it has a very specific value G equal to 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 newtons times meter squared over kilogram squared okay so what we call it universal because we can use this formula to calculate force of gravity anywhere in the universe even between two planets for example between for example uh, our sun and the moon or our sun and our earth okay so that's what we why we call it universal In this example, I'm going to calculate the force of gravity between Earth, okay, between Earth and a person, okay, standing, of course, at the surface of Earth, any person. So the force of gravity, F is equal to gravitational constant g times mass of that person is called m p for example times mass of earth divided by the distance which distance we are going to take here is the distance between that man and the center of earth which is the radius of earth of Earth, for example, okay, radius of Earth. This is the distance between that man and the center of Earth, of course, squared. Okay, let's calculate this force. F is equal to G equals to 67.67 times 10 to the power negative 11, okay? multiplied by the mass of, let's suppose that this person has a mass of m p equals 80 kilograms okay so it's gonna be, it's going to be 80 times mass of earth is known and it equals to 5.972 times 10 to the power 24th Okay, divided by the distance, which is the radius of Earth squared. The radius of Earth is 6.3781 times 10 to the power 6, all of that squared. Normally, if we did the right calculation we will find something like that 700 783 .34. okay newtons 